people welcome again to the coach's desk and i trust that you are doing well today um yeah man uh well <laughs> we have some sad news to report people very sad news as another reggae boy has passed on it's very sad first and foremost we want to openly say condolences to family and friends and um, supporters of this former reggae boys and um, he is attacker Tremaine Stewart we understand that he has passed on allegedly um, the situation is that he he somehow collapsed. We don't have any details at the moment on, on what caused the collapsing. Um, he was rushed to the hospital um, and he passed while, you know, undergoing treatment. Very, very sad situation to us in this morning. Reggae Boys fans out there, well wishers. Yeah, man, and for persons who don't know, he played a Manning Cup for Eltham High School. He was a standout for them. And um, he would have also played, started playing um, for August Town. You understand? Know, uh, that's where he, he, his career began in August Town. You understand? Know, so, I mean, then he would have. Um, segue into playing for a plethora of clubs attacker incidentally he, he, he recently signed with um jamaican premier league team dumble holding you know and um for persons who don't know he used to play for waterhouse and the portmore united yeah man it was a it was a pretty decent footballer pretty decent footballer i know his family is not feeling um well at this moment with this sad news um the footballing fraternity has been hit again um but we just we just wish them comfort and um peace at this time you understand Tremaine would have played overseas he would have played in europe he played in norway and he played in finland in Norway, he played for Allison FC. And in Finland, he, play, he played for Polosura. Yeah, man. Um, he played, played his position well as an attacker. It's just sad. It's just sad. Um, he's a reggae boy. Our former reggae boys, he played for the, the national team 11 times, people. And um, he made his debut in 2012. And um, in that time, he would have scored about, just about two goals for the reggae boys. <sighs> Trust me, people, this one, this one, it's the football fraternity very hard. Um... It's just a sad moment, sad time, especially for his, fam his family members, yeah? You know, they might be devastating at this time, but like I said earlier, I wish them comfort and peace at this moment as they mourn the loss of their beloved Tremaine Stewart. Yeah, man, so... Just giving you an update, people, keeping you in the loop on what is happening with the footballers. And um, this is uh, one that we never envisioned telling you about. Um, we spoke about Luton Shelton. Um, well, everybody knew that he was ill. He was ailing. But but this young, young, young person, he's, he's younger than Luton. He just collapsed. I mean, it, it, it's just sad, it's devastating, it's mind-boggling, trust me.
shock waves across the island right now. Persons hearing about Jermaine Stewart passing. So thanks again. I'm just going to cut it right here. Um, thanks again for tuning in. Um, yeah, we just want to send out condolences again to the family of Jermaine Stewart. Um, R.I.P. to the border. Bless up.